Welcome back to Rotune, guys. Today we're gonna shoot another video with the stock barrel on my CZ457. Another different ammo, Ely Precision Bench Rest, I believe it is. But here we go. Let's get to it. A little bit of wind, six to nine miles an hour. Super hot. So I'm probably gonna be soaked. I'm not used to this 100 degree weather. But let's get it done. Let's do it. Welcome back to Rotune. So today we're gonna shoot Ely Semi Auto 22 Benchrest Precision Ammunition. And we picked this stuff up here in Canada for $22.99. I have a little bit of greenery in front of me here. Growing up now, but we should be all right. I'm not sure where the first impact is gonna hit because I put the factory barrel back on the CZ457. And I've been super busy lately with the house. I've been working on the kitchen, bathroom, just kind of getting the, a lot of the stuff out of the way that my wife's been bugging me to do for a while. And it's all learning, learning process because I've never done that before. I work on machinery and with tools for a living, not building kitchens and bathrooms, but it turned out really amazing. So she's happy. And now I get a little bit of free time. I went wakeboarding yesterday, hurt myself a bunch. Didn't know water could feel that hard, but it was definitely a super fun experience. And now we're back to shooting. Trying to get back on schedule here. I'm falling behind big time because of all these projects I got going, but let's do it. Kind of melting here too in the sun. Super hot out. 100 degrees. The wind's okay, but it's not crazy. So let's get some ciders in here. Fowlers. And let's get shooting. So first shot, I'm going to shoot the little cider target off to the side. On the left side there. Let's see where we impact. The bubble in the middle too. Right here we go. Figured that was on because the trigger pull is very heavy there. Now let's get to it. A little high. So far it's all over the place. These are first five shots. Now I'm gonna move up to the top target number one and I'll shoot the next 15 on that one. Might as well dial a little bit left. And we'll go point two up. See if we can get back on center here. This is target number one now on this target I have out at 50 yards. They're coming together now. So I'll dial another two tenths left. And we'll go for another 10 fouling shots. Oh, my God. Anything above 80 degrees is too much for me. I'm not used to this stuff. I'm more of a winter kind of guy. Last 10 fouling shots.
that concludes all our fouling shots. Now we just have to do the four or five shot groups. And I'm going to go down the target. So the next one will be number six, 11, 16, and then 21. So target number six for five. Here we go. Yeah, not very good. I'm seeing way better for sure. Especially at this price point. Oh my goodness. Melting. Group number two on target 11. Yikes. Oh, one big flyer, but other than that, doesn't look too bad. Group number three, target number 16. Jeez, it's terrible. Wow, that was a super heavy bolt close too. I'm not sure if that was four or five. Oh, one more shot. That's four shots there. Yeah, that's a, an awful looking group there. Definitely not the best. Oh, it's so hot out. Just dying out here. <sighs> okay. Group number four, target number 21. Super tight bolt close. Ah, uh, stuff's not working very good. Oh well. At least we know that with this barrel set up, this stuff doesn't work very well. In my situation, in this heat, I don't know if that has anything to do with it. But it's very hot out here. So, there we have it. Maybe I'll try it with the IBI barrel and see if there's any difference. But until then, we'll put the chronograph date up now. And yeah, can't say I'm too fond of this stuff. But it is what it is. And we have the results now. Alright guys, take it easy and we'll see you next week.